this is an example of a heat exchanger. So the way the heat exchanger works is the flame is inside of this tube. This is a sealed tube and a fan will blow across this heat exchanger and send heat into the house, right? So the flame and all of the products of combustion, the exhaust is sealed inside here. So when the fan blows across this, none of those products of combustion get into the house. The fan looks exactly like this. So this is a squirrel cage motor and you can see that fan will spin and it will blow right into there. Now when a heat exchanger is cracked, like this one here, and if you come and zoom in, you can see the small cracks on this one. Here, there's a small crack there, small crack there, there's a couple there. So if you see what's happening with those is the unit, the heat exchanger will actually crack, or in this case, it'll rust, and those holes will rust through. What'll happen is that fan will blow across this heat exchanger, and it will actually push the air into the heat exchanger, which will cause the flame that's down here to sort of dance a little bit. So that's one of the main symptoms when you can tell that a heat exchanger is cracked. You're looking at a flame which is still and steady, and once the fan starts blowing, that flame will start to dance a little bit. One of the other symptoms of heat exchanger crack in a furnace, here's an example of a furnace here. So this is a gutted furnace. That heat exchanger would be here and the fan that I showed you would sit on top here and blow straight down. Inside of the heat exchanger compartment is a switch. It's called a high limit switch. And that high limit switch will turn the furnace off when it gets too hot. Now, you imagine that switch is inside the chamber here. When the fan is blowing across it, the system is typically not overheating, but when this cracks, a lot of that heat will sometimes come out and cause that high limit to trip. So if you see a high limit is always tripping, that's also a sign of a heat exchanger crack. Of course, high limit could also be a clogged filter or a clogged up coil. Here's another example of a heat exchanger. This is one example where they're made in plates like this. This is another example where there are three separate ones. So there's three plates here and there are three tubes here. So it's just a, a different way that the manufacturer makes it. Cracks on this are typically rusted out when they manufacture them right at the seams. So this one actually has seams here. This heat exchanger actually also had holes in it. So those are the examples of the symptoms when a heat exchanger is cracked and these are the things we look for Carbon monoxide is the biggest danger when a heat exchanger cracks. This one we actually found on a maintenance. So we were just doing the annual tune-up, annual cleaning, and we found that there. And this one was on a troubleshooting call. So those are the symptoms of heat exchanger crack. Thanks for watching.